So um, the um, another concept I, I wanted to introduce was a paper that we published most recently. Uh, was a meta-analysis looking at surgical re-innervation rates again following the lift. So this is the, really the first meta-analysis looking at this concept uh, uh, with the uh, prosthetic lift device. Next slide, please. And again, we published this back uh, one year ago. It appeared in the Journal of Urology. So uh, why? Well, there's a paucity of data concerning uh, reasons for surgical re-intervention. You can see that this has become something of a, a hobby for me um, and for many of us actually. Um, and um, so we did a systematic review looking at men that had lift uh, and had at least a year of follow-up. And uh, we looked at things like surgical re uh, device explants, or back to the OR for device reinsertions, additional uh, devices placed. Next slide. So when you do um, meta-analysis, there are limitations. And one of them is it's retrospective. So it's not the same as doing a you know, prospective randomized trial. It's, it's just not the same. Um, and there's bias here because uh, a bias is introduced because the surgeon is involved in the decision for retreatment. Uh, and it's a complex interaction. If you have a, a, a physician who is prone not to retreat, he may discourage it and others may be more, more, um, more robust in their uh, demand that or expectations of the patients and need to go back. So you can imagine there's gonna be variation there. And, um, and that, that is a confounding variable basically. Um, and again, our trial took a, uh, this meta-analysis I should say, took a rather conservative view about retreatment. Uh, we didn't look at med medical retreatments uh, and in many cases they weren't uh, even discussed in these papers, but so we couldn't really approach it. Um, and, and in some cases, patients are treated with a surgery and they're not mandated to wash out um, prior or thereafter because it's not part of a you know, pivotal trial. So lots of, well, lots of limitations to these types of uh, papers, but it's what we got. Next slide, please. So we ended up with 11 studies and over 2,000 men. And of those 2,000 men, over 153 um, had some type of surgical intervention. Half of them went back for a TURP or a, a PVP. Uh, a third had more lift and um, 20, almost 20% 20 had uh, explantation of the, uh, of the device. Next slide, please. So a fair amount of, uh, of um, interaction there going back. Um, I think we can, when you do this consort diagram showing this, uh, it included the pivotal trial, but it also included um, studies after the pivotal trials, I guess is the message here. Next slide, please. So bottom line, if you look at the um, um, plot on the left-hand side, um, summarizing all these different studies, the, the estimate for surgical re is 6.0% per year. And um, many times you'll see in the literature a retreatment rate um, at about half of that. So. Um, when you look at this from this perspective, you can see that surgical retreatments do appear much higher. So why is this? Well, um, you know, the lower rate, uh, it's that whole Tower of Babel issue where, um, you know, it depends on how you define re-intervention. Uh, and if you're defining it in a very liberal sense, um, it'll include, it may exclude some types of surgical re, uh, re treatments, even though patients went to the back of the operating room. Next slide, please. So, to summarize this, um, our calculated surgical re intervention rate was in the neighborhood of 6%. Um, uh, important to say that that 6% is not influenced by any one trial, that they all weigh in and drive that surgical re intervention rate. So sometimes if you have one, one and when you do a meta-analysis, one trial may be, may be really skewing the entire results. That does not appear here, that there's a consistency about retreatment 
on this very broad range of different types of trials. Um, what is interesting, the longer you wait to reevaluate, the higher the chance of retreatment. So the longer the trial, the more likely patients are gonna be retreated. In my view, that speaks to a lack of durability. Next slide, please. So wrapping this up, um, when you properly account, in my view, proper, uh, properly account for all the causes of surgical reintervention um, after a lift, we're looking at 6% per year. And again, that does not include medical retreatments. So uh, if you include that, this is, it's obviously gonna be a little bit higher. And this looks to be much higher than the estimate that's given in most of the literature. 